Good morning, and welcome to this week's episode of the Bomber News Network, sponsored by Baxter Regional Medical Center. This week, we'll be learning about and discussing how the foreign exchange students celebrate various holidays in their countries, and how they will be celebrating the Thanksgiving holiday here in the United States. Along with the four college signings that happen throughout the week for basketball, baseball, tennis, and volleyball. We will also be covering our teacher and student spotlight, HHS chemistry teacher, Mr. Ingle, and senior Hudson Pace. And we will catch up with Nate on what's new this week at Mountain Home High School. All this and more coming up on this week's episode of Bomber News Network. On Tuesday night, the Mountain Home East program at Hacker Intermediate, Pinkston Middle School, Mountain Home Junior High, and Mountain Home High School hosted their annual East Night Out event on the campus of Arkansas State University of Mountain Home. Education Accelerated by Service and Technology, or EAST, is a class in which students use state-of-the-art computer hardware and software tools while engaging in a project-based approach in problem-solving to help their community. To find out more about the annual event, here's Bomber News Network reporter Josh Dobson. 300 people attended this year's East Night Out community-wide event. Students from each of the four EAST programs assembled to showcase to the community current EAST projects and also discuss plans for future endeavors and solicit new project ideas. Guests were able to hear about everything from thermal drones to help firefighters determine where fires are located to future improvements of the Bomber Alumni House. They also heard about how GPS mapping technology can improve bus routes, making them more simple and faster to ensure students will arrive on time. They also heard about how GPS mapping technology can improve bus routes, making them more simple and faster to ensure students arrive on time, and even how this very news broadcast is produced. Not only did the East Side Out guests hear about projects, they were also able to experience 3D printing, virtual reality, green screen photography, and drone flight. Thank you again to everyone who attended and made this night such a great success. From Bomber News Network, I'm Josh Dotson. Thank you, Josh. And to the Mountain Home East programs, it looked like a great event. Now next week, many of us will be celebrating Thanksgiving, and before you know it, the Christmas holiday. Mountain Home High School is very fortunate to have several exchange students on campus with us this year. As you may know, people in other countries may celebrate different holidays than us, and we felt this would be a great opportunity to learn about holidays from around the world, from our new friends here at Mountain Home High School. To tell us more about these traditions, here is Bomber News Network reporter Courtney Barrett. This week, I sat down with four of our exchange students from Thailand, Spain, France, and Germany to talk about traditions in their country. Now here's Laura to tell us about what she's most excited about for our Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm an exchange student. I come from France. And I think that the most important holidays in France is Christmas uh, because we decorate uh, streets and we have gifts, gift, and we can hang out with family and friends. Um, I'm really excited about Thanksgiving because it's like the American party to an exchange student to be in. So I'm excited to Thanksgiving here. It's not even English. So <laughs> Hi, my name is Uri. I'm from Thailand, and um, my favorite holiday is um, New Year's, I think. And yeah, this is my first year of uh, thank you being in here in the U.S. Yeah, and I'm so excited with everything. It's a new thing for me. Yeah. I'm Laura from Spain, and in Spain we don't have Thanksgiving. And this is going to be my first year celebrating, so it's a new thing for me. Um, in Spain, the most important celebration is Christmas and it's my favorite too because all the family meet in the same place and we talk and eat and we have presents. Hi I'm Julia, I'm from Germany and I'm very excited to have Thanksgiving for the first time in my life um, because I can try new American foods and learn new people, meet new people. Thank you, Courtney. And if you've been inspired to try something new, be sure to stop by room 111 today for the annual Foreign Language Feast. So, Mount Home High School foreign language teachers, uh, we started collaborating with a large foreign language food festival several years ago. Um, all of our classes participate, the German, the French, and the Spanish students, and it's like one large international buffet. For this project, the students have to research a traditional food from their either Spanish-speaking country or French province or um, area of Germany 
and um, make the food. And then I also require my students to write about the traditional cuisine from that country and meal etiquette as well. My favorite part of this assignment is to bring in uh, culture, obviously the different foods that the culture represents. And now our students get to uh, view not only by the Spanish, but also by the different cultures. My favorite thing about it, aside from just two days of solid eating, is uh, the students really seem to throw themselves into it. Um, I'm always very happily surprised. Um, they spend a lot of time researching it. They get, they get to select something that speaks to them as far as the food. Hey guys, and welcome to Bomber News Network's second edition of What's the Move. Now today, as we go closer to November, we also get a little bit closer to Thanksgiving. So, we're going to be giving some of our students and faculty some different foods around the Thanksgiving holiday that they can try. Let's see what they think. So, let's see what part of the Thanksgiving meal he's eating today. You think you can guess? Yeah. You handed me this pan? No, you just open wide. All right. <laughs> open wide. <laughs> mm. Something rotten. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you ate just sweet corns and green beans. Mm. It's great, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Open wide. What do you think it is? <laughs> uh, carrots? Uh, that's one of the ingredients, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, squash? No. Um... Peas and carrots? No. <laughs> um... Barbecue ribs? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Tell me when you go up. Uh, Reuben sandwich. <laughs> You're getting colder. Candy corn? No. <laughs> I have no idea. It was mac and cheese, and he also got a hair on the container before <laughs> I put it in his mouth. <laughs> from his beard. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll give you a little bit. Open up. Mm. What do you think it is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me when I have to open it. Open your mouth. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what do you think it is? That's applesauce. Easy. Apple and pumpkin, and I kind of got some on your jacket. I'm sorry. You better not have. I've got to go to a. What a fun segment, and thank you to everyone who participated. Now, while many of us will be spending time with our families for the holiday break, one group of Mountain Home High School students will be on the road and celebrating in an unconventional way. The Mountain Home High School band will be traveling to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida to march in the parade of bands. I recently sat down with junior Emily Diatley to discuss their upcoming trip. My name is Emily Diatley, and I am a drum major of the Mountain Home High School band for this is my third year. And on Monday, November 25th, we are going to be traveling to Disney at Orlando for a week and leaving that following Sunday to do a performance at the Thanksgiving Parade of Bands in Disney. We want to wish the Mountain Home High School Band safe travels and good luck during the trip. Do you think they could get me Mickey's autograph? <laughs> While we are on the topic of Thanksgiving, another group of students celebrated the holiday a little early this week. To tell us more about the Big Little program, here is Madeline Lynch. Big Little is a program that we created to mentor and support middle school girls. High school girls act as their resource and guiding light, with the goal to offer encouragement, build friendships, and provide an opportunity for the girls to develop self-worth. With our partnership with the Schliemann Center for Women's Health Education, we meet once a month where we have fun activities, healthy snacks, and discussions on how to handle certain issues. This past week, the Schliemann director, Stephanie Isom, provided a traditional Thanksgiving meal to the girls while Drs. Kelly Camp and Kareen Heiser were there to motivate the girls and boost their self-worth. You may know him from Ping Pong Club or have heard of his dry ice explosions, but this week you will know him as our teacher spotlight, HHS chemistry teacher, Mr. Engel. Um, this is my fifth year teaching. I taught my first year, uh, my first year was, I taught mathematics. This was my fourth year teaching chemistry. 
I went to ASU Jonesboro, but I did the Jonesboro program on the Mountain Home Campus. So I actually did all four of my years here. And I'm currently working on my master's degree. Um, I pretty much decided I was going to be a chemistry teacher my junior year when I was in chemistry. And I thought, well, this is just the coolest thing ever. I think I'll just become a teacher so I can talk about it all day. And that, that's pretty much why I teach. So I can teach kids about science and hopefully get them excited about chemistry the way my teacher got me excited about chemistry. We are so glad that Mr. Engel chose to come back and teach at his alma mater. We'd now like to introduce you to this week's Student Spotlight, Senior Hudson Pace. My name is Hudson Pace and I'm a senior this year. Whenever I go to college, I want to pursue a degree in political science in order to go to law school after that. Right now I'm involved in the swim team and I'm also the founder of our debate club here at the high school. I'm also a member of the Strings Council here in Mountain Home and I'm a heavy activist for Strings Quest. Thank you, Hudson, and we look forward to watching you compete this swim season. Speaking of the swim team, here's Bomber News Network reporter Lauren Dewey with sports. This week we had four Mountain Home High School student athletes commit for college athletics. Lady Bomber basketball player Emma Martin signed to Pitt State. Will Gross committed to play baseball for the Arkansas State Red Bulls. Tennis player Emily Heidi signed to play for Harding University. And Lady Bomber volleyball player Claudia Carter committed to play volleyball for the University of Central Arkansas. You know, over the past years, we've had a sign in here and a sign in there, but we've had four consecutive days with kids signing it for a variety of sports. And the one thing I think it does for our athletic program in our school is we have a lot of young kids that's just getting started in sports and uh, they're passionate about it and they're always wondering, can I play at the next level? Well, we've had four days in a row from four different sports that shows it is very possible. If you go in, you, you put in the work and you're passionate about what you do, uh, you can play at the next level. And we've had four student athletes that's shown that. We are so excited to see what the future holds for these athletes. The Jim Holstead Athlete of the Week is senior bomber Bell, Olivia Hardcourt. Olivia is the senior captain and has led the dance team through two regional competitions and finished off the season with state dance championships. The wrestling team will be competing tomorrow at Springdale Harbor and in Conway on November 30th. The bowling team will be competing against Nettleton on Monday, December 2nd. The Bomber basketball teams will be playing in Branson on December 5th through the 7th, and the Bomber swim teams have meets in Batesville on December 7th and Pocahontas on December 10th. That's all for sports, and go Bombers! Thank you, Lauren. And before we go, we want to pass along a few upcoming reminders. This Sunday, the Mount Home Symphony will host its winter concert at 2.30 p.m. at The Shed. Tickets are $10 and children 12 and under are free. Tickets will be available for purchase at the door. More information is available at www.mountainhomesymphony.com. A representative from UCA will be on campus during both lunches on December 3rd. And the Mountain Home High School Drama and Choir Departments will be presenting their annual Magical Feast on December 5th, 6th, and 7th at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale now and are $22 each. The dinner and show will take place at the United Methodist Church. That's all for this edition of the Bomber News Network. From our family to yours, we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and we will return with an all-new episode on December 13th.